Doodly doo. Let's go look at the tower. It's so spooky. Okay, so I'm going to start off by saying a lot of my stories, I think almost a little less than half of the stories I tell on stream are about door dashers, right? It's always fucking door dashers. Um, this is probably, and I say probably because door dashers are insane and I hate every one of them. This is probably the last story about a door dasher. That's ever going to happen because I successfully <laughs> made it so we don't have to interact with them at all anymore we're verbally. You know, we still give out the door dash. But, you know, we always have... It's always the button, right? These door dashers are door dashers because they can't handle real jobs. So they go and they become independent contractors with no benefits, no hours, no, like, anything. And I have more of a job than they do because I have a job, right? They are independent contractors. So they can, they can go to, like, Uber Eats or DoorDash or Grubhub, like, any of that. Um, and it's, like, this loophole that um, these food delivery services have to, like, pay their, pay their uh, quote-unquote, employees less. Because you have to have your, you know, they don't provide you with a car. If they're employees, they'd probably have to provide you with, like, a DoorDash or Uber Eats car. You'd be employed by Uber Eats or DoorDash, so you could only do that, right? Most of these people do, like, all th all three of the big ones at, at the same time. And they get all the tips, right? But also, I get all the tips, or, like, they get split, right? Um, there's this, there's this guy who we all hated. Like, he was, he was, he was unpleasant rude loud and made everybody uncomfortable when he was there well, the only thing that we wanted to do was get him out as quick as possible and sometimes he would come in and order like like, a, like he will, he'll get his fucking little mango smoothie um it's it started off the first interaction i had with this motherfucker was he didn't want to press the button he was like confused like why why do i gotta press it like just give me the order like blah 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 it's like because it's store policy you jackass like fucking get your head out of your dick and and be able to take this is why you have this is why you door dash because you can't handle being told what to do because you're pathetic and a weak and a loser and i hate you and you're you're poopy you're dumb i hate you <laughs> um this is taking a while to load. He'll come. He came in a lot, right? He would grab his DoorDash. Um, there'd be one time, or a couple times actually. I caught him in a lie, where it was like, "Okay, can I see you press confirm and show me your screen?" And he would, you know, he would like move his hand a little bit, like move his fingers to to make it look like he was doing something. <laughs> um, and then he would show me fucking Google Maps. <laughs> Show me, Google. show me Google Maps. Like, look, see this? Because when you press the confirm, you get shown a map and you get told where to go, right? Um, he showed me Google Maps. I'm like, dog, I'm not as fucking retarded as you are. I know that that's not the DoorDash app. And so I, you know, told him off about that. And it was like, like it, and, he, and he tried he tried it again. Like a couple, like a couple, like, pickups later. I'm like, dude, stop. You gotta stop. Um, Your return on it. And he'll he'll try like to, like I don't understand the the like they'll press the button but they'll do anything in their power Check to have you out. not see that they did it because you told them that you need them to do it again because they they can't handle taking instructions because they're weird. Um, he would come in sometimes in order and. There was one time where I wasn't there. Both of the big things I wasn't there for, I was only told about. Um, the first big thing is that it was 10 o'clock. We close it on Monday. We close it Monday through Wednesday. We close at 10. Okay. Every other day we close at 1030. This guy comes in for whatever reason. They didn't lock the doors right at 10. He comes in, right? It's 10. They're closing. Uh, everything's they're trying to get the shit done so they can go home. And this guy, he's just like standing on, at the counter. He's like, I just want my smoothie. Why can't you give me a smoothie? I'm here. He's like, yeah, but you came in at 10. We don't have to serve you. We're not serving you because we're closed. And he just would not leave. And I think they threatened to call the cops or something. And he finally left. 
Um, and then we see him. Clint's got uh, a shell flaps in a twist. Tell me and all about the dangers of this place. He comes, he comes back, always rude, always unpleasant, teeth, always just dumb and stupid, and I hate him. To destroy you. Sounds like the perfect place for you to be. Uh, and, you know, just, he, he, he's needlessly rude. And, or, or just kind of like, not, like it's so, it takes so much less energy to not, like, on purpose, be a little weasel. Am I, like, wrong about that? He would come in, and he'd be like, DoorDash. I'm like, okay, what is the name? And he will just, like, look at his phone, and I'm like, what's, what's the name, dog? <laughs> and then, then he'll, like, he's like, ugh. Like, yeah, I, if you're not gonna verbally tell me the name so I can look for it, you gotta show me, and he wasn't doing either. This would be like every single time. And like again, it, like he tried it like multiple times not to press the button like dog. This is whatever you're trying to do. It's not, it's not happening. Um, so we recently got a new hire and she, <laughs> this is not part of the story, but she doesn't retain information <laughs> well. Um, this is her first job ever. She's 17. She's kind of, honestly, a little weird. Like, the shit that she says, like, you're 17, don't, don't say that. It's not okay for your age to be saying that kind of shit. Um, uh, but, she's a new hire, and this guy came in, right? The, the door dasher that I've been talking about. Uh, and there was, there was two bags for the order. She hands out one of the bags. Uh, which is a mistake and should not happen. Uh, but it is, it is like more forgivable because it was like her fourth shift, right? And you get, keep this in mind. This was her fourth shift. Okay. Um, he comes in, grabs the order, comes back. We get a, they get a call again. I was not here for this. They get a call. So they're like, Hey, I placed a DoorDash order. Um, some of the items are missing. Is it okay if, like, I show proof that I, and I can come in? The person on the phone was really nice. He was like, "Oh, can I just come in and get the rest of my order?" I'm like, "Oh yeah, sure. We're so sorry about that." And she's like making sure that she, that they know that like no one's in trouble or upset and no one's going to be like told on or whatever, right? So if they come in, problem solved, right? Would you call that a problem solved moment? <laughs> that, that's a hundred percent like that yeah, truth. That's a, that's a problem solved moment right there. It was done. This guy comes in. Again, now he's on his own time. He decides to come in on his own volition, uh, off his clock, and, and come in and yell at my employees. <clears throat> yell and be loud and, and, and rude and unpleasant saying like, you guys didn't give me the bags that you, you were supposed to, and now the customer is so angry with me, and he's yelling at me and saying that they're going to report me, and blah, blah, blah. And, like, one, we know that that's not true because of the interaction that, that they had that was super nice and okay. So there's no way that this this, this person is, is threatening to report this guy to DoorDash for, for being negligent and neglectful to the whole order. And they were trying to say, like, it was our bad... The, or the rest of the, it is like, you need to give me the rest of the order now. And it's like, well, we can't because you don't have an order form. And two, they already came and picked it up. Problem has been solved. Um, fuck. And he's yelling and being rude. And he's like, yeah, well, you guys always make me press the button. And so you got an order wrong. And it's like, yeah, sir, but we, it's fixed. And we're admitting to you that it was our fault. And he just goes away in a, in a huff. And I get told about this the next time I'm at my, sh and the next shift I have. Um, and I'm like, something needs to be done about this guy. So after that happened, we were like, okay, next time, next order he gets, uh, we're going to take a picture of it, send it to the store owner, and she's going to just block his name from, from picking up DoorDashes. Um, and we made it clear, like, we're not serving him anymore because he's, he's such a, and we have the legal right to not serve anybody. It, it, like, they, it's, it's insane that... They think that they can just get away with this, especially with someone like me. <laughs> like, you're not gonna get away 
and and I, I, I'm not gonna let it slide. <laughs> that's just not how it works, bud. So, like I say the next time, okay? Next time you see him, take a picture, send it to 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 the store owner, get him back. What happened is that you know he came back, had, gave, gave him his order, took a picture. One of the coworkers sent it to the manager, who we were told was gonna show it to the store owner. Um, and that apparently never happened because after the incident that I'm about to describe, I, I, I talked with the store owner and she was like, yeah, I didn't know about any of this. I was like, what? You didn't, what? I was told that you were told multiple times. And, and, and I, I, that kind of pissed me off because like at that point, like it is now the store manager to tell him. And she, she said, and it was like, oh, well, I, I just didn't see it as that important and I was like dog it is that important it happens every single time he's here but whatever she's the store manager is my boss and then so I was talking with both my bosses right and I was very confused on why she wasn't told but after that that, that was that was like after the fact when he did get banned officially he he came back and, and doing his thing and he, he, he were like why is he still coming back? And and then I heard about the incident. So so us deciding that he was we were going to ban him from picking door dashes up happened before he came back in and was like, "You guys suck." Um, and he we were like, "Okay." So I said then when I found that out, I was like, "Okay, next time he comes in, I'm 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 telling his ass off." Uh, so I see him. It was near closed. There was no one in, in in the in the building to to like be uncomfortable with what I was about to do, like customer wise. Um, so I I took my shot and I was like, oh, you have an order? I was like, okay, let me grab that for you. And I said, okay, well before I hand this off to you, how about you go ahead and tell me why you thought it was okay to come in on your own time and yell at my employees for a problem that had already been resolved and admitted was their fault to you and he was like blah 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 blah, blah. that long like the longest story short he's getting antsy i'm like dog you are a piece of shit i have no idea why the fuck you think any of the things that you're doing is okay you need it was like the only reason why you're doing something like this is because no one has you are comfortable doing this because no one's ever told you off before um and he get these these motherfuckers need to be put in their place right the, the, the same situation with the guy that fucking uh, came in the back. Like, he's comfortable doing this shit because no one's ever stood up to him. I don't know why I always have to be the guy to fucking put these assholes in their place. But I, I am. And I always am. <laughs> um, so I'm telling him off and he's like, he goes, well, do you want to fight, bro? And I'm like, excuse me, do I want to fight? Is that what you just said? You're resorting to violence already? And he's like, don't make me mad, bro. And I was like, don't you make you mad or what? What are you going to do? What are you gonna do if I make you mad? You seem already mad. You seem permanently mad because your your life fucking sucks and you hate yourself. You see, like I I'm not making you mad. You make yourself mad every time you wake up. Um, <clears throat> and he goes, "Well, I'll just call the cops." I was like, "What? You'll call you'll call the cops? Motherfucker actually did it." And I want I want to I want to I want to he called the cops. I'm seeing him sending them out there. He's 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 on the phone. I'm like he's probably on the phone with anybody. Ain't no way he's actually has the balls to call the cops, right? Um and I'm thinking like if he's actually on the phone with the cops, I want to mind you the night that I ha that the DoorDasher was actually threatening me and getting up in my face and threatening violence toward me, um the cops were called 3 times once by including including me once right they never showed up ever they, they, they there was active threats of violence happening towards my person no one ever showed up the guy that threatened me calls the cops they show up i get two super he gets two fucking suburbans they show up i was like god there must be nothing else to do in this fucking town and it's like, and so I'm like, oh my god, they're actually here. What the fuck? And we're looking at them, and it was like, we're looking at them, like, what the fuck? What could they possibly be talking about right now? And then we see them coming, it's like, okay, oh boy, here we go. They're coming in, and the cop goes, 
So, any re any way you could tell me, you know, like what's going on and why we're here? And I said, no, I cannot tell you that. I have no idea why you're here. I'm just as confused as you are. And he was like, we're I'm I'm confused why you're here. And he's like, yeah, we are we are too. And we're talking, he's getting our statements and whatnot, and we we're like, well, what was the situation? I was like, I was he was he comes in here a lot and he's always rude and unpleasant and makes everybody uncomfortable he's yelled at my employees and, and been very um demanding multiple times we just want him to not be here uh, we don't want him coming in anymore um and last then th what i was hoping for today tonight was to have like a two minute uh you know not a conversation because i didn't want him to talk at all i wanted him to understand that his behavior was fucking beyond inappropriate and that he's not allowed back here and i'm telling him that and he was supposed to i was going to hand him over the the doordash and um and it was going to be done by the way it, while he's waiting for the cops i'm like hey dude i go out there he's sitting in this fucking stupid little subaru um i think it was a subaru my head cannon is that as a subaru because subarus fucking suck <laughs> and that guy sucks so he needs a car to match his fucking personality um I go out there and I'm like, hey, I'm putting the, the order right here for you so that you can take it and this can be over. I don't know who you're waiting for because there ain't no way you call the cops. And he just, he doesn't, he doesn't take it. I'm giving him the order and he does not take it. So at that point, it's on him. It's on him that these people don't get their food. Um, because I'm like, hey, right here, come and take it. What, this, this situation is done. They come in, I'm telling them all this shit and I, I'm like, like but before like, I was like I'm I'm sh I started off to say I'm sure he didn't tell you this because why would he but he threatened to fight me and told me not to make him mad bro and he's like no he did not tell me that he actually said that you uh, asked him if he wanted to fight I'm like yeah of course he did so he's like what what's the situation like do you want us to trespass him like he's like oh like we would love that but I I don't have the authority uh I need I would need to like talk to the store owner if she would want him trespassed. I'll be talking to her tomorrow. Um and we'll get that settled up. He's like, "Okay, well, I'm going to go out there and tell him that uh you don't want him uh to be here anymore and that that you know, they will call us." He's like, "We'll we'll tell him that you guys are going to call us if you see him again." Um, and we can we can officially trespass him and have him do jail time if he ever comes back So if I ever see that motherfucker again, and I already talked to the, the bot the store owner about it Like just like yeah, if you see him again, just call the cops and we'll have him arrested because he is because she's like yeah He's trespassed now um, like, Fucking hog perfect um, And that's that's basically it like this motherfucker was the most unpleasant uncomfortable person to be around ain't no way this guy has friends um it, he he's a pathetic loser that has beyond zero self-esteem uh and he he his, his entire life his entire life revolves around him being an asshole to others because he needs other people to feel how shitty he feels daily um <laughs> And, and I mean, you know, if I ever see that motherfucker again, he's literally going to jail and I'm going to be so, I'm, I'm praying that he comes back because he's officially trespassed. This motherfucker is like not allowed here. So, yeah, that's my story. And, and that's probably going to be the last, uh, DoorDash story, uh, ever, or at least for a good long while.